Welcome to lesson number 21. Today our topic is as angle between two vector increases, the resultant decreases. And we have five scenario, five cases uh, to check our hypothesis. So let's get it started. Uh, so let's say the vector A is 4 meter, vector B is 4 meter, vector A we're going to keep it constant at 0 degree, vector B we're going to change it 0 degree, 30 degree, 90 degree, 120 degree and 180 degree. Again, how do you measure vector? You measure vector from x and y axis, right? So for example, if I want to measure, uh, let's uh, change the color, uh, x and y axis, right? x and y how do you measure vector okay i want to measure this vector this vector is zero degree why because the angle of red vector is zero with respect to the x-axis all right now let's see whether i can measure this one yeah let's see put it all on it how can i measure this angle well i go to the zero degree i go to the um, x-axis and i go counterclockwise and i stop where the vector is and this is 180 degree that's how i know this is the green one is 180 degree and red one is zero degree and that's how we measure the end never forget the convention and never forget to follow the rules okay so let's start with the first one let's see we're gonna today what we're gonna do the main goal is uh, from algebra to geometry we're gonna convert algebra to geometry okay so let's start with the first one uh, vector we have vector a and vector b vector a has two common ax a y b x and b y a x is you have uh, this one we have been first this one uh, for cosine zero degree and for sine zero degree and then we're going to do the other one for uh, cosine zero degree and for sine zero degree right so this one is four this one is zero this one is four this one is zero now we're going to separate okay we're going to separate those numbers with respect to their direction uh, so x would be uh, four plus four okay and now we're going to do the y y would be zero plus zero so x would be eight y would be zero okay now we have the x vector what is the angle of the x vector zero degree what is the angle of the y vector that there is nothing so we cannot draw that okay so what is the size of the angle we have x and y so we can find the size to find the size we're going to use x square plus y square so we're going to use uh, eight So 80 squared plus 0 squared, so the resultant is 8. So you're going to now come over here and you're going to write 8. This is the resultant, 8 meter. And never forget to write the resultant, okay? And we're going to try to find the angle. Okay, so what is the angle? Theta is equal to tangent inverse y over x. What is our y? y is, you say, 0. x, x is 8. So theta is zero degree. So prove that this is actually zero degree. But we see that this is actually zero degree. How? Okay. How do we see this is zero degree? This is zero degree because we have x and y. All right. What is the angle of this one? Zero degree with respect to one. X axis. Uh, zero degree with respect to x axis. Right. You can put it over here, and this is still zero degree. Why? Because you always can move x axis and y axis. You can move over, you can put it over here and it still is 0 degree y. Uh, you can always move the x-axis and y-axis, okay. So, for, for that reason, it is uh, obviously uh, 0 degree, right? Okay, good. So, now you put it back. Now, you're going to draw the vector. So, uh, you can put it like this and put it like this and this is the resultant. Okay. And resultant 